And this seems, Dennis, like it is the perfect series for Kevin Love, and we saw it in game one. Yeah, Kevin Love now realizes that he's going to get more jump shots than post-ups. So early in the ball game, you see him looking for his jump shot, which I think is huge because he knows he's going to get the basketball. And as the Cavs continue to move the ball better and get better flow, he'll find his way to the post. But early in the ball game, you just saw jump shot to jump shot, and then after he makes a couple of jump shots, now the spin move, now the post-up, now he's feeling good about himself. One of those threes he took almost by the hash mark. I said, whoa, Kevin Love, you're really feeling good about yourself because you're touching the basketball. Well, he got a day off, but still working. Chatting with our Kristen Ledlow about a big game one and heading into game two. When you have so many days off in between playoff series, how do you stay playoff ready? Because you come out in game one in Boston, a very hostile playoff environment, and set the tone from the beginning until the end. How did you stay playoff ready? I think a couple th uh, things. We, first of all, uh, been fortunate enough to, to play really well. Uh, in the first couple rounds and uh, in years past, kind of having the blueprint for it. So, you know, we know how to stay in shape. We know, you know, having a few days, what, what we're able to do, take a couple days off. But we knew it was going to be, you know, a great environment. And, you know, if you're not ready for that, you might as well go home. Well, and you were a playoff <laughs> career high for you. What were you seeing that allowed you to be so effective? I mean, those guys were just finding me. Uh, you know, it's next man up. Last night it was me running the floor. Uh, picking my spots and, and finding opportunities and those were there for me last night take advantage of it. Your role has continued to evolve and you've done whatever it, it was necessary. How has your role been described to you for this Celtic series? Uh, just that if we play downhill, uh, if Ron gets in the paint, gets on that launching pad and um, you know, Kyrie does the same. I mean, they're so good at initiating the offense. When they run the floor, they're always finding them. So you just got to be ready and um, and hopefully that continues throughout. And you got going early, but especially in the paint, not just you, your teammates as well. Was that part of the game plan to kind of knock the rust off and get the offense going? It was, I and mean, that was our mentality. We wanted to be super aggressive. Uh, with me, it was no different. I missed my first couple shots, but it wasn't for, for lack of aggression out there. So it was really great how that first unit set the tone for, for the rest of the way. I mean, we had guys come in and uh, you know, play, play, play really well. Um, really, really dialed in on our game plan on both sides of the ball and I think that should. And your coach's game plan defensively has always been to take away what any team does best. It was that against Paul George, it was that against DeMar DeRozan. How though do you slow down, how did you slow down an MVP caliber player like right. Isaiah Thomas? Well, he's, he's, like you said, he's tough to slow down and we faced uh, a number of guys that can score the ball in the, in the first two rounds and you just try to get out of their hands. But that's easier said than done. They've, you know, you, you hope to put them in tough spots, make other guys make plays, and, and, and contain them more than anything. So we did the same thing with, with IT. He's still going to find his looks uh, in different ways, whether it's in transition or in the half court. But we felt our game plan was, was pretty good, and you know, we hope to continue uh, you know, to make him just make tough plays and, and make it hard. Give me your perspective on what has become an historic run by LeBron James to the NBA Finals over and over and over again. You feel it out there and what he's doing and, and you know some of the stuff doesn't show up in the stat sheet but the stuff that does you finally look up or you look at a stat sheet and you know he's, the numbers are unbelievable and he brings it every single night. I've mentioned that, that tone that was set that, that starts with him, it starts and ends with him. And he's been I mean, spectacular, another short of spectacular every single night. So he, uh, you know, he, he, he does it for us. Yeah, they set the tone early, and we thank Chris and Ludlow for that. But they also set the tone in the third quarter as Love went for a playoff career high, five threes in the third. What is it about Love? Sometimes a big role, sometimes not a big role, but still able to step up. Well, I think now Kevin understands he needs to be this Kevin Love, not the Kevin Love that was in Minnesota getting 20, 25 touches a night and living on the block. This Kevin Love spreads the floor, still get your rebounds on the defensive end, but offensively, you're a little more on the wing, knocking down jump shots. Mm -hmm.